as a red blood cell going through the lungs for the first time, I'm not quite sure I know what's going on. The lungs are the place where oxygen gas is at its highest concentration. And as it moves from an area of high concentration to low, oxygen goes into red blood cells and binds the hemoglobin so that you can transport oxygen to the tissues of the body that need it. Well, that's great. I would certainly like to be helpful. Can I go to those tissues right now? Right now, there's just not enough pressure in this blood to take you to the brain and back or the hand and back. And so therefore, we're going to have to go back to the heart so the heart's contraction can give you enough pressure to make that journey. So we're going to head back to the heart, traveling through pulmonary veins. There are two pulmonary veins on the left side traveling from the left lung and two pulmonary veins on the right side traveling from the right lung. All these pulmonary veins empty into the left atrium. Hey, this kind of looks familiar. It looks kind of like the right atrium where I started. There are a lot of similarities and the left and the right atrium, they do a lot of comparable things during a cardiac cycle. So once again, we're going to have to wait inside the left atrium because the left AV valve, the bicuspid valve, is currently closed. It won't be until after the T wave of the previous cycle that the bicuspid valve opens so that the high pressure of blood in the atria can then push us into the left ventricle. 